Chelsea may have chance to sign cheaper alternative to Jules Kunde if they open talks now. Chelsea may have been presented with an alternative signing to Jules Kunde. The Blues were known admirers of the French centre back but failed to agree a deal with his club, Sevilla, this summer. The club's transfer chief, Marina Granoskaya, was not willing to pay the fee wanted by Sevilla Bukunde. And Chelsea may consider a cheaper alternative following news that Ben Unix's talks with the centre back Nicolas Soule are on hold. The German defender was previously linked with a move to Stamford Bridge and is in the last year of his contract with Bayern. But according to German transfer expert Christian Buchfork, the club have halted talks over an extension, despite agreeing new contracts with Joshua Kimmich and Leon Goretzka in recent weeks. Falk has previously claimed that Schule would love to play in the Premier League in the future, albeit for rivals Manchester United. But Chelsea are an equally as attractive proposition as the reigning champions of Europe. And a low ball bid in January could be enough to tempt Bayern into selling, with Chile over the wise set to walk away for free in the summer. Granovskaya, Roman Abramovich's right-hand woman, has overseen transfer operations at Sanford Bridge by for much the past decade. And if the 46-year-old again had a big hand in securing the signing of Romelu Lukaku from Inter Milan this summer. But Granovskaya will be sweating on the future of four key Chelsea players who are all now in the final year of their contracts at the club. The four players, all defenders, could walk away from West London for free in the summer of 2022. And Granovskaya's main task for the new few months will be to determine the future of Cesar Aspilicueta, Antonio Rudiger and Andreas Christensen and also Thiago Silva and lined up potential replacements. Chelsea's transfer activity suggests that Granovskaya is well aware of the potential need to strengthen the club's defensive top ranks. But the Blues' attempts to sign France international Kunde in the summer were unsuccessful, with the Premier League club expected to return with a bid for the Sevilla player in the future transfer windows. The only formal offer from Chelsea, Sevilla director of football Monchi said after the transfer window closed, we weren't satisfied for with the other and was linked to Chelsea selling a player. It was a decent fee, but it didn't meet our criteria. Granovskaya will be relatively confident of getting her man the second time around after it was revealed that Kunde's preferred move was to Sanford Bridge. There's been a lot of talk about Boyas have made for jewels, the majority of which were rejected by the player Ponchi said, if there was one club liked the look of, it was Chelsea. But if a fee for Kunde cannot be agreed, then the Blues will now have a more than suitable alternative in Chile, who could well be signed for a much cheaper fee.